Well, hello and welcome to Click Spotlight. And I have under my spotlight today the very great pleasure of introducing one of our one of our newest employees, actually, Nish Patel. Welcome, Nish. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, and we, 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 it's great to have you on board. Obviously, it's part of the um, uh, the Crunch Data Crunch Bot acquisition. So, give us a little bit of history, just briefly, around around Crunch Data and Crunch Bot. So, the evolution of them. So, um, you know, it's very interesting because um, uh, we are uh, three Click employees uh, and one customer who started mm. uh, Crunch Data. And um, Charney and I, actually, Charney was the first person I met on the first day. Uh, at, at office. So, you know, we met and, and uh, you know, we, we went, I think we had a breakfast, something like that together. And after years, we started this company and, and um, you know, uh, crunch data and have so many employees now, um, offices in, in uh, head offices in um, so many uh, cities. And yeah. uh, from that, we started CrunchBot as a product. So, you know, I, I, and, and now we are here with Click. So I think it's, it's really exciting to come back sort of uh, to home. Um, mm. and, and, you know, I think it's a great feeling. Yeah, so what was your role at Click then? But just, is it interesting for me to know? Because I know I was around when, when you were at Click, but um, I'm just trying to, to place you. What were you doing at Click before you left? Yeah, great question. So uh, actually, it starts before Click, right? So I, I worked for a Click partner and uh, then joined Click uh, with Click partner. Mm. I was a, a I was a senior architect. Uh, we developed ah. a lot of custom solutions and yeah. products uh, in healthcare. So um, you know, uh, and then I joined Click, and at Click I was an architect um, mm. uh, delivering consulting solutions to um, large customers, who was some of our enterprise customers. Yeah, so because Charney was also on that side as well, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. He was, um, if I remember, he was a solution architect, wasn't he? Yes, he was a solutions architect on pre-sales, and I was on the on the post-sales engagement side. Yeah, so he took those skills and obviously developed a fantastic um, uh, product called CrunchBot. And and, and mm -hmm. out of the corner of our eye at Click, we were we were looking at that product and saw that it fits in uh, very nicely with the way that we are we are going forward, which is a great synergy, isn't it, between the between the two companies? And um, and that's fantastic. So you very you did describe some of your your team there um, and the offices. So where are the, where what is your team and where are they located around the world? So uh, we have uh, consultants in Utah, we have consultants in uh, Bay Area, some consultants mm -hmm. in Denver, um, and uh, some consultants in Kansas City. Um, and we have office in India, which we have 20 people there. And uh, I'm uh, rapidly expanding that team uh, to 34 mm -hmm. this year. And oh, it nice. seems like I may have to add more. Uh, mm. considering all the all the response we have gotten for for the crunch part so uh, and that's um, fantastic news isn't it and and so mm -hmm. that in in india they do the the development side so presumably yes. they're pre prevalently developers and mm -hmm. that's great to expand that and and it's always so so actually yeah, let on, me sorry, let me um, yeah so we don't just do the development of crunch part Indian team, we started in 2014, so it's already, this is the fifth year, um, and uh, they are, uh, they have deep experience in, in uh, all the click technologies, not just mm. one, right? So sense, click view, and printing, geo analytics, oh, uh, really? web okay. connectors. Yeah, so that team is, is, is um, really important because uh, we also use them to send projects there, and, and currently mm. we are gonna do that as well. So uh, since they have a deep knowledge in custom solutions, not only they can uh, uh, create products, they can also help in consulting uh, engagements like OEM. And, and that's and really, fascinating. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fascinating because that, that is not something I was aware of. So th this team is um, can do other, they're not just crunch, but as you just said, there's lots of other skill sets that we got there that we can that we can drill into. That, that that's fantastic. Yeah. So, in fact, yeah. Um, in fact, this month, uh, this quarter, I'm adding eight uh, click uh, click developers in India. So uh, you know, uh, if you you somebody is watching from India, you have friends, uh, then we want click <laughs> developers, right? We want click developers in that team. 
Uh, we also want testers uh, and, and deployment specialists. So keep an eye open for, uh, you mm -hmm. know, Gujarat office. We will have uh, shortly about 18 openings uh, very soon. So. Well, there's certainly, I mean, I've been to India many times and there's certainly a rich seam of, um, of people there, isn't it, that can be used with the skill sets um, that it can be used within Click, which is, um, which is great. So the integration is fairly early days. And this is always, I mean, I've seen many integrations of companies and, very, and acquisitions of companies. And there's always a, a time like now um, where it's important that we get it right. So, so how has even on these early days, how has that gone so far? How has the integration gone? And how has it been um, received by the people at um, Crunch Data? Oh, man. I mean, it's been extremely, extremely busy time. Um, mm. the, the good thing is that uh, uh, our integration team uh, leaders, um, uh, Drew Clark and, and Peter Letty, uh, those guys have done this before with Podium. So we yes, have a, a process. Uh, that we are following and that process is, uh, you know, step by step, we want to make sure that we scale out all the areas that we need uh, for mm. the successful launch. For an example, we, uh, uh, we have to make sure that uh, pre-sales team has demo servers. Uh, we have capabilities in, in consulting organization. So we are training uh, pre-sales and post-sales teams. Uh, to mm. uh, So they can go and, and, and do the implementation, right? So Plus, yeah. we have to sort out the support. So, you know, we, we are uh, it, it, tremendous uh, uh, support uh, from the field. Uh, but uh, again, we, we need to make sure that uh, we do it this right, right? And, and oh, we, are, we are doing yeah. this successfully. So we are, we are really excited, working really hard, uh, all the consulting team and pre-sales teams to, uh, to make it happen for everybody. Yeah, I mean, the worst thing you can do is start is just rush into these. As you, as you rightly said, you need the patience and you need to do it properly. Um, so, I mean, that brings us on nicely to the, to the next question. Uh, the salespeople, they will have actually, I mean, one thing that is, is well, one of many things that's good about this is they, uh, some of these actually will be aware of the technology already because um, it was a, a TED extension on the trusted extension um, uh, list. So some will be aware already. But when, when are people going to be able to go out and start selling this as a click product or an add-on or an extension to the click family? So, uh, great question. Um, so, we, uh, as I was saying earlier, uh, we just deployed uh, servers for the uh, for the mm. research team. So now they can uh, they can start uh, demoing. We will have we are adding more servers for for the global teams, so they can at least start uh, demoing the the bot uh, the basic functionality, yep. right uh, now. Currently, our plan is uh, uh, to uh, dip, uh, to make the early access program, as you uh, heard in the town hall. Uh, that's the that's the path. So uh, uh, that that program will be available uh, from next month, uh, right. and and people should should be able to um, uh, you know get into that program if they fit the the profile. Ah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, and that that again is is important that that it is it's the right product for the right customer. Now, mm -hmm. um, so where do people go then if they want to find more information? I know you showed that in the town hall, but remind remind me and remind the people listening or watching where do they go for for the, for information? So uh, th there are. Uh... Firstly, you should look at the Confluence page that is uh, yep. uh, that is available. That has all the information how to uh, where to look for information. Right? If you are in the yeah. field, uh, whom you should contact. If you are in other organizations, whom you should contact, like partner managers, OEM. So uh, you know that page is gonna have the latest information. So first, yeah. you should go there. Once, uh, if you cannot get that information uh, from there, then you know you should go to local leadership and 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 they would know whom to reach out. But I think uh, current process is that we have a distribution list and uh, you should also refer to uh, an email from January 31st from Drew Clark. I think uh, right. he, he also has described the process, how to qualify um, a lead, right? Because yeah. we want to make sure that um, with until we are fully ramped up, we have to make sure where we, uh, we get engaged. Uh, so... Okay. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, another another way, I suppose, once the pre-sales people start getting um, trained up and access to that demo server, then you can speak to your pre-sales person, and um, they're, they're a good source of um, mm -hmm. of information. 
Mm -hmm. So uh, let yeah, me add you. something here. So the, for the pre-sales, so as I said, the servers are going up. Uh, this week and next week, uh, we have deep dives for, for pre-sales and post-sales teams to learn more about uh, how to deploy Crunchpot for the customers, how to prepare the apps and, and the architecture, yep. right? Once pre-sales team, uh, uh, we call them SWAT teams, and they are, they, yep. it's a uh, global team. So you will have uh, SWAT team members in your region where you uh, you should be able to reach out to them with any questions or any technical questions or, or where to start, right? Okay, okay. Now this, this interview has been recorded on the 13th of February, just so if you're listening to this uh, in, um, in March, then hopefully the demo servers will be there. So this is the 13th of February, so a couple of weeks, about the 27th um, of February, um, most, most things hopefully will, will be in place. Mm -hmm. So going forward, um, then Nish, and as far as um, Crunchbot is concerned, and, and yeah, we're very early in the integration, but what have we got to look forward to in the future with, uh, with the technology? So uh, we have short-term plans and long-term plans, right? Currently, our focus mm -hmm. is to release Crunchbot as an extension bundle. So that it becomes, uh, for customers and partners, it, be, it becomes extremely easy to install. Uh, so that's our short-term uh, uh, short vision. The longer term vision is that uh, we we have a couple of um, uh, high demand items like voice interaction. So voice is yeah. something that we are we are considering um, uh, as a top priority. And then we we have some uh, improvements uh, planned for uh, the NLU portion, which understands what user is asking for. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, short term, we are focusing on scalability and 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 performance. Okay. Okay, so um, NLP, that's a natural language processing, because mm -hmm. you hear the acronyms here, NLP, NLU, and mm -hmm. NLG, mm -hmm. and, and NLG is natural, natural language generation. generation yeah. this is, hopefully I've got this right, Nish, so mm -hmm. you'll be t uh, testing me on this. Natural, natural language generation, mm -hmm. NLU, natural language understanding, mm -hmm. and NLP, natural language processing. Yes, you're right. I've got that right. Excellent. Yep. So I get my memory out of quite shocked yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that. So, um, so that's fantastic. And and there'll be some announcements around connections, I presume, and stuff like that going on as we go forward. And there's a change of the name of, of Crunchbot as well, isn't there? Right. So um, that's going to happen even sooner. I think um, if I'm not wrong, our current plan is to um, uh, to release uh, um, Crunchbot as a click insight bot. Um, and yep. that's uh, around March 28th or, or something like that. But don't quote me on that. But uh, it is it, no, it is it's next. A roadmap. It's a roadmap thing. No, I, I think it's surely in March. I, I, I just uh, I may not be right on the date. But uh, but we are okay. releasing it as a click inside part. Um, and right now we are working on that too. Fantastic. So lots to lots to look forward. And I must say, um, when they made the announcement, um, it, it was it was great to see that we are taking this technology on board. And good to have some old friends back again in the in the click fold. So um, that's that, that's very good indeed, and very exciting for for 2019. So with my spotlight interviews, Nish, if you'd watched any of them before, and I I wouldn't, um, yeah, I don't worry if you haven't, because it's very very soon within in click. Um, I like to ask questions about you as a person and what um, and you know and what what makes you niche um, you. So once you at the moment, I don't suppose you get an awful lot of a chance to relax. But when you do, how how do you do that? So uh, great question, uh, uh, by the way. But um, I mean, I, I like a lot of things, right? Uh, I like mm. golf. Um, I haven't, as you said, uh, I haven't been able to play for, for quite a long time. Uh, at least yeah. last year was extremely busy. End of the year with merger and everything was really busy. Mm. Uh, so, but I, I like to go out and play golf. Uh, obviously, I like to spend time with my family. Uh, plus, I do watercolor painting. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, oh, I, I just picked it up and it looks like I, I know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to try to do, <laughs> do more of that uh, when I get chance. Uh, and um, yeah, I like music, uh, so I listen to music, uh, watch movies, swimming, stuff like that. Ah. Um, so, so, um, so where where do, where are you based out of? I apologize if you mentioned it earlier, and I'm sure it's been said, but where are you based out of? Then, where do you live? So, I live in uh, San Francisco Bay Area. No, oh, nice, very nice right. indeed. <laughs> so, it's it's nice I, the place where I live. It's it's nice um, uh, mm. weather. So, usually, even in winter, we have. Uh, it's we have 360 sunny days so 
<laughs> you can imagine. I mean, it's it's amazing, right? And um, yeah, when you can see the sun through the mist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I live I live in inside, like a kind of inside, uh, uh, in suburb, and it's kind of a valley mm. and protected by a lot of mountains. So I don't get that uh, that that fog. So which is which ah. is really good. And if it there is fog, it clears out uh, around ten. So. Oh, that, that's good. Yeah, I'm just going to be spending my holiday in that area this year, yeah. so um, I'm looking forward to... Uh, I'm about an hour that, away so. from Napa, uh, you know, about uh, 60 mm. miles from Sonoma, so a lot of wine, you know, about an hour away from uh, uh, from Monterey, a lot of good wines uh, there mm. too, so... Yeah, love love Monterey. So, so do you, um, you've mentioned a lot of things you do, like your golf, you like your music and so on, but do, do you cook at all? I love cooking. I mean, cooking again. Yeah. That's I, I. I saw the. Uh, you know, I knew you were gonna ask that. Uh, and and you know, <laughs> cooking is like my passion. I cook yeah. with my heart. Uh, and and you know, I, I cook Indian biryanis, curries, oh. and some of that stuff. It takes me whole day. I when I make mm. a biryani, real traditional Indian style, it takes me whole day to to prepare and yeah. make it. Uh, but you know, I mean, that's my. Another passion. I, I consider cooking is, is, is very relaxing and, and it's a science, mm. right? So, you know. Yes, it is. Well, Indian food is a, I mean, I'm a big lover of Indian food. And, uh, yep. uh, but you notice the difference between, you know, where, I'm, where I am in the UK, um, I think the UK is one of the biggest curry eaters, I think, around. Yep. Uh, but basically, mm -hmm. it, India, the different tastes in India compared mm -hmm. to an English curry mm -hmm. is completely different, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So I make traditional. I don't make uh, the stuff you can find in, in, in here in restaurants with uh, a lot of cream and stuff. Yeah, yes, yes. Well, I, I, when I, I'm, my mouth is watering now, so um, when I'm over definitely. next, I should expect a biryani from um, uh, from definitely. this. Definitely. <laughs> Excellent. So uh, if you were to choose, would it be a book or would it be a Kindle? So I use iPad, a Kindle on iPad, because I have so many books. Um, I, yeah. I am, I'm a... Big fan of reading. I think is everybody should read it. Uh, read something, right? Mm. Um, I, I love reading. So, any particular subject, or you do, or is it a diverse um, collection? So I usually read a lot of science fiction, but I, it seems ah. like I have read all the science fiction there is uh, to read, <laughs> all the good ones, anyways. Uh, but mm. uh, you know, Arthur C. Clarke and few other, uh, you know, the old guys, really good books. Uh, then I use mm. fantasy. I, I read fantasy, and I also uh, books, and I also read um, biographies, uh, biography, and and things like that. Yeah, I've read um, the Game of Thrones book, but I mm -hmm. read them probably now about twenty, thirty years ago. So wow. um, all these new people that have been bored onto uh, Game mm -hmm. of Thrones, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I remember it from when I was about twenty years old. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, yeah, yeah they're, they're catching up. <laughs> some some classics, Lord of the Rings, right? Uh, I've read that yeah. book like ten times. It's it's amazing. Yeah, me too. <laughs> amazing. Books. Oh, we could talk about books all day, then, couldn't we? That's fantastic. But but <laughs> let I, let me tell you something. I always tell yeah. people that you can read whatever books you want for me the best book that uh, for me personally is yep. is um is called uh, surely you are joking mr Feynman, right so it was right. written by richard Feynman, who got a nobel for uh, for uh, on the physics so he uh -huh. is a kind of this jolly guy i think i recommend that book for anybody who um, you know, I read that when I feel like, okay, I'm stuck. I just read that book and, yeah. and you know, it gives me perspective on, on you know, work and, and life and science. I, I'm a oh. science fan. I, I love yeah, physics. Me too, me too. Um, and, you know, I, I, I didn't oh, do that okay. good in studies in physics, but I love physics. You know? <laughs> it's I, easier I love... to read a book like that. <laughs> right. It? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so surely you are joking, Mr. Feynman. I shall, yep. um, I shall look that one up and I'll put mm -hmm. it on my, on my Kindle. Awesome and, and book, yeah. Excellent. So, okay, um, 2019 is going to be a busy year for you. I don't suppose there'll be a lot of slowing down um, um, at all. So what plans do you have for this year, both with Click, but also personally as well? Yeah, so, uh, you know, as you uh, rightly said uh, here, uh, you know, it, it's extremely difficult. It's going to be a difficult year because, uh, you know, we have a lot of responsibility uh, now. Mm. I mean, even... Before I had a lot of responsibility uh, leading Crunchbot, but now I have different kind of responsibility. We have a, we are a very big organization, and and uh, you know we have to make sure the the all the strategy that we have 
with Peter and Drew and uh, everything and leadership team that we have worked, uh, that mm. strategy needs to be implemented. Make sure that uh, the integration is successful, the product is in, in customers' hands. Uh, so it's going to be really, really um, busy here uh, this year, particularly. And, um, you know, but great things are coming. Yeah, On personal yeah, front, yeah. Um, you know, I, I just want to uh, spend time with family. Uh, I've been, it's last four years has been, five years has been really, really hard mm. uh, in terms of, you know, all the time that I have put into building these companies. Um, it's, uh, so now I just want to, you know, spend a little bit more time with family. Um, you know, probably I, I, I may be coming to Europe in summer, you know, I, I, with family. I, I wanted to just uh, go out and see probably Switzerland or, or Croatia oh, or something. Nice. I, I don't know. Yeah, Croatia um, is, I had a holiday in Croatia last year and it's beautiful. So I recommend yeah. Croatia. Okay, cool. So that's my plan. Mm. And, you know, I think paint a little bit more, uh, you know, lead, uh, read a little bit more. And, and I have eight-year-old daughter, so I want to, you know, and ah. she also now started playing golf. So I want to go out and, and play golf <laughs> nice. with her. It's been seriously eight, eight, nine months since I've gone out mm. with her. So, you know, I think uh, I'm looking forward to having that uh, that time this year. You know? Well, uh, um, I, yeah, I, I do. Re well, I obviously recommend the especially an eight year old daughter and playing golf as well. That should be um, that should be a lot of fun. Well, I'll say welcome on board this year. It is an absolute pleasure to have you and your team. You know, you, you and Charney and so on back with Click and the rest of your team part of the Click family because it's going to be an exciting 2019. There are loads of possibilities, I think, with, with your technology and your team as well. So, so thank you so much um, for, for, for joining us. And, and, I, and I leave you with um, all my people I, I, I interview, I leave with a fact, um, an interesting fact that you can use um, uh, going forward. And this one I, I can't believe and I don't know how this happened, but apparently... The can opener was invented 48 years after the can was invented. Wow. Okay. How's that work? Uh, good to uh, know. So, so all the stuff that's been in this tin for 48 years <laughs> until they can actually take it out of the tin. Right. That's, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Right. right. Isn't it just? It eh? is. Isn't it just? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, thanks again, Nish. Um, enjoy the rest of your time. You're at King of Prussia now. Um, but hopefully, maybe look forward to seeing you uh, next year in, in, in Europe. So, so welcome again to Click. Thank you very much. And as I said, I'm really excited for the opportunity. Whole team is excited. And, you know, I'll see you soon. Excellent. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.